Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. Today we're going to continue our journey to complete Kingdom Rush Frontiers. And if you recall in our last video, we've beaten Starmatal and our three stars back. I uh, have three more stars to earn here on the Sunken Citadel, which is where we're going. Now I have tried this with several permutations, and so far this has been a pretty good one. Uh, we've used uh, Ulrich, literally our very first hero, with his little sand demon bastard buddies. And with a couple modifications to the map for how we place things, I've been doing pretty decent. For instance, you still need to have Necromancer Tower here. I just can't seem to get away from it. Either here or here. Foot soldiers are here. And we're going to get them to make money for us ASAP. We want to unlock this because that extra damage can come in handy when you need to smack that one last guy that snuck through down. Uh, and then from there, like I said, we want to invest every dime in getting these guys up to stealing some cash. We're going to get mugged very first wave here so that's never gonna not be an issue so you need that fireball spell just for this reason alone and it sucks but it's there and you just have to kind of deal with it that was close nice to have the skeletons in the back though pretty happy about that uh, again we have this in case we really need it normally I just save it for when we get stuff like that going on Use your reinforcements to get them shot from a distance. It's always a good ploy. You want to get Ulrich to make sure that he sits his happy ass a little in the middle though, because he will not engage if he's not close enough. He'll send his little sand warriors out, but that's all he seems to do, and that'll just piss you off to no end. Because he can really do a put a whooping on these guys really quick. Now, if the poop hits the fan, you can really call stuff early to get that fireball spell up. You can't send heroes over here now because I have no way to get there. He's not a flyer, he's not a teleporter, and therefore he's kind of stuck on this island, which kind of screws us. But it's not as bad as all that, and we do have ways to help these guys out. Now, they're not screwed by any stretch of the imagination. And now that we've got these guys here and their ability to steal a little coin, hopefully we'll get a little cash out of them so that we can start investing in these guys' in future. These net guys aren't particularly scary yet. Again, as long as we have a little bit of help over here, we usually do okay. But once they get into the water, they can zip right by us, and the only thing that can hit them then is like ranged attacks, and that gets scary in a hurry. So, getting him up to a decent range allows him to put the smack down on some of these guys in a, in a quick hurry. So that helps a ton. Getting them up as well. We'd like to get these guys up to Sneak Thief potential as well, but it's not as crucial because the number of guys over here, while a decent number of them, is not going to be anywhere near what we're getting over here. And we get multiple coins off the same jackass, as you can see, over on that side, which is stellar for us. I would like to have that. From there, getting a wizard tower up wouldn't be a horrible choice. We get this ignorant crap going on, and it's the same pattern every time, so this is always the first one that gets uh, tentacle wrapped, uh, basically stopping the tower from doing anything. And it'll happen at various locations, and if there's no tower, just the tentacle kind of just stays there. So, while that's annoying, it's not going to be anything that's uh, ruining the potential of taking stuff out. See, we're making cash. Doing good. Get these guys to load them up a little over here. Probably not a bad call. Ooh, that was close, fellas. Stop scaring me like that. Kill these guys, will ya? Thank you. Jeez Louise. You see, like I said, these guys aren't exactly in their prime. Getting some decent mage damage over here goes a long way to help out, though. Zapping these guys when they're in the water seems to be better damage. I don't know if that's true or not. But certainly you see that without his shell on his head, he took a lot of damage from that 
decent sized bolt. And that does vary from time to time, so there is a range to that attack. But the, the take home message here is just to make sure that you take out the foot soldiers ASAP, because you're probably not going to wail on this guy. And these guys can handle this one dude over here. More than that, they really start having issues. Thank you. Now, we're going to try this tower over here because we can make extra foot soldiers for them. The mage damage is still pretty considerable. It's not as near like the other tower is going to be. We're going to make one of those too. Uh, his range is not stellar, but we can buff it with this tower here if we go crossbow for it, which we will. Give these guys a little bit of a buff since they really are pulling home all the bacon, so to speak. Uh, skeletons are helping out, sure, but uh, without a death knight over here helping them out, they're really kind of candy asses. As soon as we got rid of one, the other one shows up. Man, yeah, that's just our luck, you know? Well, I could throw sire on this jackass, but. The foot soldiers die so much quicker, and we can't handle those turtle bastards all on our own. So, these little shell pricks really aren't as scary as you think, so long as you have the foot soldiers already out and not engaged in these net bastards. So, that's why I focus fire on them preferentially. Shade is gone. All right. Poison Cloud is a good way to go down here because there's going to be so many AOEs damage you could really capitalize on, right? So the number of bad guys that come down here. Certainly the Death Knight with a skeleton buff is not a bad call, neither. But to each his own. I mean, really, Tribal Axe Force do so much extra damage, it's almost worth having them. You can just as easily say, I want the range on this guy so he can really pepper everybody on the land. Plus it gets this guy a nice little bump. Again, if we really want to make sure this guy dies, we send in Albert. A little poison cloud to make sure these guys die. There you go. Start seeing that health really start to peel off the guy. I no get all worked out of there before he dies. That's something stupid. Okay. From here, we're going to get our uh, problem over in this spot. But by having him up here, that might actually solve our problem. Let's find out. Okay, well, he's a problem. He's not much of a problem if you engage him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's really our trick over here. The towers will do their damage if they can. These guys are here for stuff that sneaks on through. And really everything else is being taken care of. Now these guys, I'm going to send them up here and help gang bust this guy. Because really all those dudes on one dude, and they're just going to wail on him. Come on, give me my 
power. I didn't have the ability to make any money off that guy that was around. Seeing. I think we'll just leave the knight up there with his skeleton horde to bum rush these guys as they you know, show up time after time. anybody out here who can't see anything. We're doing okay, that poison clock kicking off every once in a while was enough to really save our bacon. Yeah, poison clock again. I think being in the cloud actually will take damage to your foot soldiers, so you may see that happen. I can't remember. Tired of looking at this guy, though. He needs to die. Thank you. Okay. Now we can focus fire on the team. This will allow us to actually do a lot more damage as needed. So when that little totem pops up, that's going to be extremely handy. And this bolt's going to be able to impact both lanes, so I'm pretty happy with that as a choice. Now we are getting large numbers on our face, which is not terribly concerning. Uh, but if we really want to take some stuff out, we'll just make sure to dunk them. And then we don't have to worry about near as much. I can always upgrade this, but I like doing the soldier towers because the nets, while annoying, I could care less if it's one of my lower foot soldiers that got netted, right? So that's a really good stalling tactic, I find. A closer to taking that up to the warp status and that once we get to there I think we're probably fine for a while. Mm. Let's save that for now, we don't need it. We have plenty going on here and I like the extra coins coming in. Dwart and pull these guys down to here. Pull him up probably as far as possible so we can get the Skeletors going. We'll get that up as well, but I'm not sure what I'm going to turn that into. Boom, that was a nice dunking move right there. And you see we're having that same trouble over here, but we have that dwarf going up, which is really going to add to the AoE damage over here. We can't let these guys sneak on through, though, because they really do a hurting on our hearts. So we need to at least sense a foot soldier down there. Fortunately, the Death Knight comes back, too. That's extremely helpful for us. Yep, see? Emerging guys. Lost two. Oh, 
I'm tired of looking at this guy, he just needs to die. Oh, uh, we lost a couple, and I know from experience that if we get 17, we don't get three stars. Uh, so we gotta really make sure we're paying attention now. The burn patch over here is gonna go a long way to help these guys out, I think, though. So we really probably want to start focusing on efforts over here. See, the amount of attack that we're getting over here is getting to be pretty ridiculous. So we're still giving her three stars as far as I know. I don't like that this one is so hard that they made it where you can only get 18 hearts you only get three stars. So 17 means you lose a star. That was not cool, I thought. But, eh, I guess to each their own. I see we don't do a lot of damage to these guys even with the magical whoop whoop from the trident here. This guy's nothing though. I mean, we got him down that. This one over here I'm not even really particularly worried about. I would like to get that Death Knight though up and have him down here. This has some extra because of his range. It's gonna be handy. Skeletors up there doing their thing. Our players are pulled back to heal for Mo. Get these guys up so we can get some coin off these guys because we really can mass produce some serious coinage off these guys because they're so tough. We just we can see coins flying off and boom, 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 boom. Same with these guys. Might as well. See, we're doing okay. Insta kill moves would be useful. Uh, I'm thinking though, I really want to get whatever kind of tower I want over here. I'm not sure which one I want yet, but I definitely want something. Let's try Archmage Tower. It does a lot of damage, and I'd like to get some of that extra damage in on the bad guys before. They even get to over here. That could come in handy. Uh, get there. We have to decide what to do with this side. Got a fireball spell in case I need it. And there's my knight. And I like having him just sitting as far back as possible. Because he can catch that random guy that comes through that I just miss. And poison clouds are going to come in super handy though. Maybe the other kind of wizard up there too, why they don't know. Sure, a number of bad guys kind of justified that as far as I was concerned. But a lot of my dudes in the nets and I wasn't cool with that. These guys are not really here to make money, but figure what the hell. You see, these skeletons are pretty much doing the job over here for killing these guys off. So that's great news. So we're already coming up on the 14th or 15th wave. And 
I managed to get to here before, I managed to beat it, matter of fact, but I had gone to 17 hearts and I lost one heart at the very last wave, so we're really right where I was before, which is pretty scary. Taking out Turtle Boy, that would make my day, but as you can see, once they shell up, you get back to full health in a heartbeat. These guys, while scary, are not too bad. If I actually had that up, it'd be a cake block because they'd be drill bitted and gone in an instant. Just fantastic, but I'm still doing fine. This guy's dying. Let's get a little poison cloud over here too, because why the hell not? If I want to make some money, might as well send him in, right? Oh, uh, wouldn't hurt to have either of those have their tornado move up and running. Oh, that was a nice hit. That was close, but not too close. Uh, the storm will be bad first. Here we go. Send these guys up there to engagement hand to hand, and then we got no real issues. In fact, let's just put in a little tornado over here just to stop the crap like that from causing any problems. At this point, I probably want to start investing in this thing. We're really doing so good. I would say that out loud because it's caused me so many problems in the past, but we really are walking all over these guys at this point. Just cause them some problems up there just to slow them down. They're clearly coming down here, so this will be where I fire them all. problems again, but nothing stellar. Death Knight back up makes me happy. These guys are doing fine. Tornado's doing a good job of keeping them on my way, but you can see we can get overwhelmed here in a hurry. The little boss fight's going to be a boss that swims out here, takes a sweet ass time, comes around. So anything that basically is over here helps for damage, but it's really not that much. This guy is going to be doing a lot. So here's our boss fight, right here. It's a little tentacle jackass that's been messing with us this entire time. And he is mean. He doesn't do much. I mean, his tentacles will still come up and cause problems, but we still get bad guys coming from all waves, and it just really is a crap shoot. You know, the same tactics that worked before work here, and there's nothing different that you're really going to be working on, but any kind of extra damage you can deal with that guy, fireball-wise, comes in super handy. You really get him down in a hurry. But... I'm more of a mind to make sure to keep your lanes clean, because again, one heart going through is basically me not getting my three stars. So, we can buff up our foot soldiers a little bit while we're hell not. And again, we can still shoot at him, as you can see. We're doing damage to the guy. Maybe as much as we wanted in that one. Let's do this one. 
He's got such good range. These guys are having problems over here, as you can see, but the tornado wiping them back, and then the burn patch goes a long way for solving those problems. See, here's our problem again. Once you kill him, everybody else just goes away. So it's not like... Yeah. There we go. Now that should be my three stars, finally. This is taking me... Oh, uh, let's just conservatively say 15 tries since I've lost the video and had to restart. And that's just today, not counting the times I've probably tried in the past. But there's your three stars. Let's go spend them. And again, one more three star map, and we'll actually be filled up on everything we could buy for upgrades. Now we got a choice of marksmen have a chance of shooting two projectiles at the same time. Nice extra damage. Artillery towers have a chance of stunning their targets every attack. That's useful. I'm going to take the extra damage, though. And again, yes, I know I have eight stars, but again, until I show you all the stuff that you guys missed out on, so all these little flags, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I'm missing a star somewhere. I'm just, I can't think about it. Uh, by and large, I'm going to complete, uh, complete all of these on the heroic level, which gets us that extra star. And I think at that point we'll have caught you guys up for everything that needs to be caught up. Uh, we still have, of course, a red flag here to complete. I haven't even looked at it so much as anything else. And I think we even have one or two more waves, or, or waves, uh, missions to complete. So I'll probably finish these off just to get you caught up on my videos. All the stars will be burnt up then at that point we'll have extra, so that's fine. Uh, heroes, we can just pick and choose then as we please. And again, these are two new heroes that came with the most recent patch, DLC, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's free, though. It comes with the game. So once you buy the game, you get everything they get for upgrades, which is super sweet. So they don't have these guys yet behind a paywall. You get access to them right off the get-go. Um, and you get all the other uh, missions, levels, whatever you want to call them, uh, free of charge, basically, from buying the game. So you get all the content which is fantastic but with that my name is brother mutant please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys soon bye now